My name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to easily outline an object using Adobe After Effects. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, an object for us to outline real quick. So creating a new layer, you know, Control Y, and I'm going to make this a red, red object. And I'm just going to kind of create a, a circle here, and I'll push and pull some of these a little bit to, to make it a little bit sort of off, off shape so it's not a perfectly symmetrical shape. So we've got our shape here and what I'm going to do to outline it is we can do a couple of different things. It's easiest to understand when you're outlining if you're going to do this with actual footage, plan to do it before you shoot. It's best to have the object that you're going to outline separated out from the background but if you can't do it, this is, a, this is the way that you'll have to do it. I've drawn this, this mask by hand. So you'll have to outline whatever you're going to do by hand and animate that mask to follow them. Then you've got a couple of options. I'm going to apply the uh, generate stroke effect and we can make this brush size a little bit bigger. And you can see that this has put a line around our object and you can change the color, and you can change the, the feather on this to make it kind of blend in with whatever footage you're using. But notice when we increase and decrease the size of this, it's increasing and decreasing it on both sides of that line. So if we want it to go outside the object a little more, it's going to cut to the inside of the object a little more as well. But it is a very quick way to do things. A different way to do things would be to take that same mask and we're going to duplicate it and make it a subtraction mask. And now we can play with these masks expansion properties. So say we only want it to go to the inside. You'll notice here's our line and we're if we bring this subtraction down, it's cutting into the inside of the object. If we want it to go to the outside, we alter the add mask and the expansion on that and now it only goes to the outside of the object. And obviously this, this layer could be colored or gradiented or whatever you would like to do, but it is a little bit more difficult because if you want to change the animation on one of the masks, you have to change it on both of them at this point or delete the second mask and go through the whole duplication process again. The other way to do things would be to, like I said, have it on a green screen, use find edges on your object. So let me just delete this, this second mask here. So we've got our object and we're going to come into the effects and presets and start typing find edges and it's, uh, it's a little bit unpredictable with this just because it doesn't have a lot of detail to work with. With uh, regular footage or a person, it would try to highlight the areas of contrast and pop those edges out a little bit, but it is kind of unpredictable. It's not great for outlining objects. If you just want to drag and drop something onto it, you really need to either work with a mask or use this technique in a green screen. You can apply, if you key out the background, the green screen, you can duplicate your keyed layer and begin to mess with the choke and recolor it using something like Colorama to recolor it and then you can mess with the choke a little bit to expand that mask out from underneath of the character and create a sort of a false outline. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to create outlines using After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.